Hey, good morning everybody. It's Pastor Keith from uh, San Francisco and uh, this is the last morning of our time in San Fran. We are heading out to uh, catch our pl flight. We're leaving the hotel at 8.30 and we should be arriving home about 7.30 p.m. So uh, our program wrapped up yesterday. We had a, a good day. Uh, in the morning we uh, kind of attended a live recording of uh, a podcast uh, it's called The Red Couch by Relevant Magazine um, with Propaganda and um, Alma. And Propaganda is a rapper and Alma is an educator. They're married, husband and wife. And uh, they have this uh, new podcast that they've been running. And uh, we were able to basically sit in and overhear it. Uh, it was lots of fun, uh, really taking on contemporary issues from a faith perspective, stuff that's uh, ripped right out of the news. Uh, and also in their multicultural perspective uh, being African-American and Mexican-American. Um, so it was a lot of fun, uh, a lot of laughs and very profound insights into uh, our current situation in our country, in our world. Uh, from there we headed off to Muir Woods, which was uh, to see the redwood trees, which was uh, great to see really the natural beauty uh, that's right here around us. And uh, we spent some time hiking in Muir Woods and just taking it all in. And uh, then we stopped at the Golden Gate Bridge. We had to go over the Golden Gate to get to Muir Woods. But then we stopped at the park and got some pictures and were able to take in that scene. It's been foggy and cool here in San Francisco. So um, it's like 62 degrees and foggy. Uh, not what you expect in August, at least coming from the Philly area. So it's a nice break in terms of the heat. But um, I was a little underpacked for, for that kind of weather. I was better packed for LA than San Francisco. But um, we made it work and we uh, caught the Golden Gate at a time when the fog had lifted. It was a little warmed up. The sun had come out, um, so we got some nice views. And uh, Yesterday was kind of a day just to process a lot of what we've experienced. We've been on the go every day, 12 plus hour days, visiting tons of different places, um, really being present to uh, amazing ministries and uh, social enterprises that are meeting the needs of people, not just young adults, but meeting the needs of people. Uh, often in a place for the world's brokenness. So we uh, heard about gang violence, incarceration, poverty, uh, lack of nutrition and food deserts, uh, food insecurity. Um, people who are working uh, from a faith perspective are inspired by a spiritual perspective to help meet the needs of their community, to build community through food or the arts uh, or in, in other ways. So we weren't just going from church to church to church to see what churches do. We were really out in the communities and hearing how these organizations and these leaders um, were identifying the needs in their communities and then partnering together and finding creative and sustainable ways to meet those needs. So for our final session yesterday, once we got back from the woods and the Golden Gate Bridge, uh, we did a um, kind of an innovation um, brainstorming project for lack of a better word which was to say now you've done all these things what did you see what did you hear what did you learn and how does that start to apply then to your own context you know what are the needs in your local community where are the gaps uh, how can those gaps be met so it's not just this Zoe project's not just about like creating a youth group for young adults it's really about asking what are the needs of the young adults in our community uh, and what are the gaps and how can we help to meet those gaps um, and support people in their spiritual lives and um, as they gather make meaning. So it, it's not just kind of getting some young adults together to do fun stuff like a youth group, but it's really trying to uh, empower them to um, be part of something bigger than themselves. What that's going to look like, we don't know yet, but we're a lot closer than we were. I think we all have a better sense of the things that are going to be important to us. Um, you know, being able to articulate the why of why we're doing this, the mission and the vision uh, for it, and being focused and clear on that, and who needs to be around the table for us to help to make some of those things possible. Um, so we've been, it's sort of like an innovation um, entrepreneurial incubator that we've been a part of here. Um, because we've heard from people who are doing it and we've had some sessions where we've been taking through kind of a thought process, brainstorming process around design thinking, around innovation, um, and about solving wicked problems. Um, it definitely took us beyond our comfort zone, but in all the right ways, and it opened us up to all kinds of different learning. 
Um, so it's been a really tremendous experience. I mean, it would take years probably to accumulate all these experiences uh, that we are able to gain in just uh, not even a week here um, in LA and San Francisco. Uh, so it's a great launching off point for us to come home, let it all sink in, and we'll, we'll meet again in September, gather some people, more people around the table, um, and uh, keep working on it and fleshing it out. And then we go to Princeton in November uh, for some more coaching, and then back in February too. So first part of next year, things should really start to be taking shape. But we are grateful to Princeton Seminary. We're grateful to the Lilly Endowment. We are grateful for all of our organizers for this trip because it's been uh, really tremendous and um, kind of a once in a lifetime kind of experience. Um, you know, I travel around uh, quite a bit to uh, different churches and different places. Uh, and so I'm accustomed to travel and I'm accustomed to think about church things. Uh, and this even blew my mind. So that was pretty great. And just to be led along and to be a student was a, a real gift for somebody that's normally uh, the one in charge of most of what's going on, just to be, uh, just to let it all sink in and just go where they say to go and um, be where they say to be and just listen and learn. So we can give thanks for all those gifts. Okay, uh, we're heading to the airport in about an hour and then uh, we'll be home about 7.30 tonight and uh, then I'm off on vacation. So I will see you in September. Um, but uh, thanks for all your prayers and well wishes and following along. Um, hi Margie, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Peace.